and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. I have today for you two easy cozy soups made perfect for the winter. These soups are coming at a perfect time because all I see is snow, ice, and cold weather all over the weather maps. Even freezing falling iguanas in Florida. Now that I, I can't even imagine. The first soup I am making is a jalapeno popper soup. This is new to me and it was delicious and I had leftovers for days. Soup is one thing I do not mind leftovers of. It's always better the next day in my opinion. The full recipe will be in my description box below. So if you are new to my channel, I am dairy free so you will see me substitute non-dairy items for dairy. This is a one-to-one -one swap so no worries there. Just replace the non-dairy um, portion of this recipe with your favorite dairy products. So I'm here just dicing up the onion and garlic and I only added one jalapeno. I actually should have added two because this jalapeno was not very spicy at all. Or I guess I could have just left the seeds in too. So now I'm going to add all the ingredients to the crock pot. I'm going to add my four cups of chicken broth, my chicken, this had bone in, so I had to remove that later, the bones, the onion, jalapeno, and garlic, my little garlic chopper is the best doesn't get your hands all sticky chopping up garlic and then the seasonings and then you're just going to mix that up and either put this on high for four hours on low or low for eight so now I am just going to be chopping up the green onions I'm using both the green and the white part and this will be used for garnish at the end so I just wanted to point out, I decided against using the butter, the guar gum, and the coconut cream to thicken up the soup. I just used the cream cheese and it was perfectly fine. So after the chicken is done cooking, I just removed it from the crock pot, took out the bones and shredded up the meat. And I'm going to return it back into the crock pot. And at this time is when you add in your cream cheese and you will just let it melt into the soup. So while the soup is finishing up, I just placed some bacon on my air fryer rack. This is the best way, in my opinion, to cook um, bacon is in your air fryer. And I just cooked that up for the garnish on top. So uh, here I am just topping it off with some bacon and some green onions. And like I said in the very beginning, this was delicious. I could have used a little bit more heat with a couple more jalapenos, but nonetheless, this soup is delicious and it makes for great cold winter nights and great for leftovers. So the next soup that I am going to make is the copycat version of the Zuppa Toscana from Olive Garden. You're gonna need some flour, oil, butter, seasonings, um, some potatoes and kale and chicken broth. I have some ground pork here from Aldi, the Never Any. It cooked up so nice. So it, it just, it was hardly any grease at all left over. The only thing I did add at the end were two beef bouillon cubes and I'll explain why. So I got this Dutch oven after Christmas on sale at Macy's for like $34. It is a beautiful Martha Stewart um, uh, Dutch oven. I wanted to say crock pot. Um, and I absolutely love it. 
So I just added some olive oil and my pork to the Dutch oven and I am going to cook that all the way through. So as you can see, the pork left no grease behind, none whatsoever. So I definitely recommend the Aldi Never Any brand of pork. And next, I just removed the pork from the pan and then I am going to start with the base of the soup. So into my uh, Dutch oven, I added the butter and flour and I just started making a roux. I was just whisking that up, added a little bit of chicken broth so I could make sure that the lumps are removed. And then I will add in my onion, my seasonings, and my garlic, and then I will add in the rest of the chicken broth. Here I turned up the heat so then the broth can start to boil so I can add in the potatoes. So here's kind of where it kind of went wrong. I added the cup of coconut milk, but then also four cups of water, which is what the recipe called for. And then it also um, it's called for two cups of beef broth, which I didn't have. And I should have listened to myself and only put two cups of water in, but I didn't. And it diluted the flavor totally. So that's when I decided to add in two beef bouillon cubes. So after your soup has been simmering for about 10 to 12 minutes and your potatoes are fork tender, you add your pork back in and this is where you add in your kale. I added about three to four big handfuls of kale and you just want to make sure that there are no stems put into your soup because those are hard and gritty and you don't want to eat those. There's an example right there. Um, there's not very many in pre-washed bags of kale, but you just wanna make sure that you're not putting that into your soup because that is very unpleasant. So here is the final product. The soup was really, really good. Once I added the beef bouillon, it gave it so much flavor. I do recommend adding either the beef broth or the beef bouillon and not so much water, but it turned out delicious. And again, I had leftovers for days and it just got better each and every day. So thank you for watching everyone and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye-bye.